Alright YouTube, I decided to make another video. This is a video of my tank while all the sharks are out. Notice it's dark. I'm going to turn the lights on so you guys can kind of see everything. What all's going on in this tank. Kind of see all the species that I got. Let's see if they keep moving around instead of going to hide. But here he goes. If you look over here, there's a banded hound shark. About almost 30 inches. There's a coral cat shark immediately going to hide. Obviously you can see his, his size. Batfish. Two banded hound sharks, both male. One of them was a rescue, is dying in a tank. You notice the short-tailed nurse shark in the back that I'm babysitting, who likes to prop himself up like that. He's been doing it for months. The weirdest acting shark I've ever seen in my life. Very different, of course. And there's the my favorite banded hound shark, male. The nurse shark is a female short-tailed nurse. She's almost full-grown. <clears throat> she was actually uh, the two white-spotted bamboos have been trying to breed with her which has been kind of weird. Uh, I don't know if they locked up, but definitely all the breeding procedures were done. I don't even know if they could even lay eggs together. Nobody's ever bred a short-tailed nurse shark in captivity. So uh, this will also give you an idea of how large this tank is. It's actually it's really good size. So um, Everything's getting along quite well. Living wonderfully. Let's see if I can get ahead of this nurse shark so you can kind of see. This thing is... He gets himself jammed in them rocks and eventually just pops himself out. He's about the fattest thing, or she is about the fattest thing you'll ever see. Here's the coral cat shark. He's out and about again. Let's see if I can get you some more footage of him. Of course, crawling right back into the rocks. And there's the short-tailed nurse shark. These are the species that I currently have in my personal aquarium. Out and about. It's uh, feeding time tomorrow morning, so they're obviously, usually they've gotten to kind of where then they see me. They uh, come running toward the glass. One of my starfish. There's another one with Duncan coral. Gorgonian and another Duncan coral. Last two corals I got. Starfish ate every mushroom I had. Had rocks all the way at the center column with about 30 other fish in here. It was amazing. Obviously the issue being uh, I brought in a powder blue tang, which I had to have after everything was already acclimated and good to go, even after quarantining the powder blue tang. It, uh, everything started to uh, get broccanelia. Everything died except for the eel, which is down in here and you can't see it. And all the sharks live, of course. See a tail right here? That's actually a brown banded bamboo. There's a uh, sand star. They're about four and a half, five inches a piece. I've had them for over a year. They were like the size of a quarter when I got them. If you look back there, there's a brown banded bamboo, male. Squirrel fish. Some of the tank mates you can have with a shark. And here's our little buddy, the coral cat shark, right here, swimming around. So enjoy, I'm going to turn the lights back off and let these guys coast around.